Welcome to another tutorial from Linkall. This time, adding products to your EPOS system. Firstly, you'll be given login details for the website touchoffice.net. So that's www.touchoffice.net. Once you've used those credentials to log in, you'll be met with a screen which looks like this. So this is your control panel for your cloud EPOS system where reports will come through live and obviously we can add products. Third icon down on the left hand side is called products. Click on that and you're met with your list of PLUs. PLUs is the industry standard name for products within a TIL system. Page one of your back end touch office is Lager draft or on tap. So as we can see, we have the description here, Bira Moretti, Group Draft, Department Drinks, VAT 20% and the pint and the half price. So if I was to add another lager, for example, then I would type that in. I would put in the price of a pint. I would then put in a price of a half. Once that's done, I press save. Using the next button at the top, I click it once and it takes me to the range of ciders on tap. So for example, if I had inches cider, I would type that in and enter the price. Press save. You can continue working through the pages. Each page is allocated for a different group. It's shown here, bottled lager, Page six, bottled cider. Let's put a new cider in here. Uh, we'll use old mount. All we need to do here is just put in the bottle price, click save. As we scroll through, mine is vodka. Slightly different with this, you have your 25 milliliter price at three pound, but you have a double price at six pound and this is put in the cell price three. So price one is your standard price. Two, we do not use, that's for half points to do with draft or on tap. And price three is the double price. Once you've edited all your products, you press save. Page 10 is whiskey, 11 rum, 12 liqueurs. 13 cocktails if you don't sell cocktails just skip on by and then we get to wine so wine slightly different so if we look here we have merlot price level one is a bottle price level two is a 250 mil and price three is a 175 now if we just investigate that further by clicking on this the actual product As we scroll down here, we can see other information, another price level, and this can be allocated for 125 mil. So price one, bottle, second price 250, third price 175, fourth price 125. Click back on products and we're back in the list. As you scroll down, you'll see that there's bottle only. So anything that you sell by the bottle can be put in there. Press save. Click next and we go to the wine, white wine, rosé, sparkling, and then your soft drinks. So we have added some products. So how does that get to the till? How does it look to the till once we've added all these items in? Let's take a look. Let's bring up the till, sign in as an operator. And as you can see, we've populated the old mount and decider. Because we've kept it to the correct ranges, it's automatically populated itself within the screen. Same for vodka. Smirnoff vodka has automatically populated itself in the screen. As long as you keep within your ranges, everything will mostly automatically populate within the screen.
anything that's overpopulated or will not fit in the screens because you have large menus will be tailored at the end of your programming. So for stage one, just concentrate on putting all your products within the allocated page numbers and we'll do the rest.